Charles Barber's riveting book, In the Blood, How Two Outsiders Solved a Centuries-Old Medical Mystery and Took on the U.S. Army, is an account of how two unexpected heroes took on the military system and saved many lives with their invention. Barber's book is titled, How Two Outsiders Solved a Centuries-Old Medical Mystery and Took on the U.S. Army. A peculiar inventor by the name of Frank Hersey and a struggling salesperson by the name of Bart Goolong made the discovery that a common mineral known as zeolite has the capacity to halt bleeding rapidly and effectively. They came up with a product that they dubbed Quitclot, and the United States Marine Corps and the United States Navy used it as a life-saving tool for wounds sustained in warfare. However, they were met with tremendous hostility from the Army, which had already invested millions of dollars in two competing goods, one of which included potentially harmful ingredients. The United States Army, under the leadership of Colonel John Holcomb, a powerful surgeon with connections to the pharmaceutical industry, attempted to discredit Quitclot in order to promote its own medication, Factor 7, which had the potential to cause heart attacks and strokes. Percy and Gulong fought back with bravery and tenacity, bringing to light the greed and corruption that put the lives of soldiers serving in Iraq and Afghanistan in jeopardy. Despite the difficulties they encountered in their personal lives, such as Hersey's bipolar disorder and Gulong's financial difficulties, they never gave up on their objective. The book written by Barber tells an engrossing and motivational story of ingenuity, endurance, and justice. He tells a little-known David and Goliath story about how two outsiders solved a centuries-old medical mystery and took on the United States Army. He does this by combining extensive research and engaging prose to tell the story. In addition to this, he exposes the damaging effects of unrestrained institutional arrogance as well as the significance of whistleblowers in the process of uncovering wrongdoing. This book is not only an interesting account of the development of trauma medicine but also a celebration of the human spirit and an ode to the efficacy of working together.